first derivative test example. Find all the points of local maxima and local minima for the function fx equals to 1 over 3 x cubed minus x squared plus 5. As you can see, it is given that fx equals to 1 over 3 x cubed minus x squared plus 5. In order to find the local maxima and local minima, what I need to do, I need to first differentiate this function with respect to x and if I do that, I will get this expression. So, I will get f dash x equals to x squared minus 2x. As you can see, x is common over here, so I have taken x common and inside the bracket, I have x minus 2. Let's find the critical point. So, in order to do that, I need to write f dash x equals to 0 and as you can see, f dash x is x times x minus 2. So, x times x minus 2 is 0 and if I simplify, I will get x equals to 0 and x equals to 2. Now, at first, I would like to consider x equals to 0 to find the local maxima or local minima. So, let's consider x equals to 0. I am going to consider a number line. So, this is my number line. Let this is the point 0. In order to find the local maxima and local minima, I need to consider a point on the left side of 0. So, I am going to consider this point and let this point is negative 1. But you are free to take any point, whatever you like to. I'm going to consider a point on the right of 0. So this is my point and let this point is 1. Let's find the value of first derivative at x equals to negative 1. So this is my point. So I will write f dash of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 times negative 1 minus negative 2. So negative 1 minus negative 2 is negative 3. So I will write negative 1 minus negative 3. So as you can see negative 1 minus negative 3 is 3. So f dash negative 1 is 3 which is a positive number. So as you can see if you take any value on the left of 0 that is a positive value for the first derivative. Now let's consider 1. So if we do that f dash 1 is equal to right here 1 times 1 minus negative 2. 1 minus negative 2 is negative 1. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So first order derivative at 1 equals to negative 1, which is a negative sign. That's right here. As you can see, no matter what number you consider on the right of 0, you will get a negative for the first order derivative. If you remember, when the first order derivative changes from positive to negative, we have a local maxima at that point so we can say that f has a local maxima at point x equals to 0. Now let's consider x equals to 2 now. What I'm going to do I'm going to consider a number line again let this point is my 2. I want to consider a point on the left of 2 and I'm going to consider a number left of 2 as 1 but you are free to consider any number on the left of 2. And then I'm going to consider number on the right. This is my number on the right. And I'm going to consider 3. Let's find the value of first order derivative at 1. So if we do that, we will write f dash 1 is equal to 1 times 1 minus 2. Because we are using the first derivative right here. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 1. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And that is our negative number first order derivative at 1 equals to negative. So the, here we have a negative. Let's find the value of first derivative at 3. So f dash 3 is 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we will write 3 times 1 and 3 times 1 is 3. As you can see 3 is a positive number. So the first order derivative on the right of 2 is positive number. As you can see the value of first order derivative for the function changes from negative to positive. So f has a local minima at x equals to 2. 